Hey YouTubers, and welcome back to another Dragon Ball discussion video. Yeah, that's not a speculation or a theory video for me. For me, it is actually a very much of a discussion. Anyway, I am once again joined by MJ from Geeklist TV. MJ, why don't you say hello, man? Hey, it's MJ from Geeklist TV. Thank you for having me back on the channel, real. <laughs> I was I was just waiting for that. Hey, to leave. <laughs> uh, guys, um, today we're going to be talking about something that I've thought about for a really long time and I don't think I've ever made a video on it so I just wanted to actually put it out there and I was basically who is the best teacher in Dragon Ball now I know we have a lot if you look at from the very beginning of the show we have a lot of people you know you have people like Master Roshi um, Kami Mr. Popo uh, you know North Kai I guess you can you can make a lot of assumptions and you just we all these mostly gods if you think about it. Um, Goku Goku gets trained by gods a lot. Yeah. Anyway, um, I mean, <laughs> that's why he's one step ahead of Vegeta. All the time. Um, he's kidding. godly. I guess that's why. Uh, but guys, <laughs> I I want to know like I wanted to talk about this like who is the best? I guess like not just not like personality wise or something just you know like which ones do you think are the best who is the most effective i mean in terms of making people jump from one level to another with their the way they do things so i know mj focuses a lot on you know power scaling and all this stuff so he knows a little bit about this one way or the other so mj do you have any ideas do you have any like who would you say out of everyone as far as giving you the biggest jump probably wis it's funny because we actually did the math, uh, me and Mike from Laughing Stock Me actually did the math the other day for fun, right? We're just shit and giggles, we're like doing calculations, <laughs> and Vegeta actually went up, uh, Wiss made Vegeta about three million times stronger than what he was in the Boo Saga when Vegeta went to go train with him for six months. Jeez. So, if you want to talk about the biggest <laughs> <laughs> jump, again, the calculations may have been off, but we were just going off our numbers, and so that's a pretty big jump. But just because Whis got him that powerful and trained Goku and Vegeta and he's like the attendant, you know, the angel to Beerus, that doesn't necessarily mean that he's the best teacher because if you notice throughout the series, there's one teacher, actually there's two, there's two teachers that Goku seems to always go back to and that's Roshi and Kaiosama. So mm -hmm. it's weird, I would probably have to say that Kaiosama is probably the overall best teacher in my opinion. I w Kyle sama why? For a few reasons. One of uh, one reason is because his planet is naturally uh, has a heavier pull than Earth. It has ten times the gravity of Earth. So Goku can automatically go there and train. He doesn't have to walk into the room of spirit and time. He doesn't have to walk into Bulma's gravity room. Just going to Kyle sama's place, he can already get some sort of torque on his body. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And then on top of that, it seems like. He just has a better relationship with uh, Kaiosama, mostly over Wiss and some of his other teachers like Popo and Kami and Korin. Roshi, there's something with Roshi, bro. Like, there's always going to be something with Roshi and Goku. Like, he's the first, you know what I mean? But as, as far as Kaiosama, though, his body has that extra torque just by being on his planet alone. And then on top of that, it just seems like uh, Kaio... Even though Roshi's been around a long time, Kyle's been around a lot longer, so I can see that Goku can probably still get uh, taught a few things. I mean, not necessarily techniques, but just more so training. Like Kyle can tell him exactly what to do to how to increase this thing or increase that. You know, I'm not trying to say Kyle's not teaching Goku all these new techniques. I'm just saying that he's teaching him different ways to train. And I think we kind of saw that with the Battle of God's art, where he was pulling those uh, huge weights and walking around mm -hmm. the planet. You know, he's just constantly getting different ideas from Kyle. So I would probably have to say Kyle's the overall best. I don't know about you though. No, it's actually an interesting. That's an interesting point. I mean, you got to look at it from a lot of different angles. In my opinion, personally, uh, I would feel like you're right with uh, with uh, Kyo Sama actually being, if you want to say that, King Kai, whatever, uh, and then Roshi being interesting people to talk about especially since it's not just about like power scaling or power gaps or how much you went through it's also like how what are the lessons that they taught them and how does that affect the series going forward like if not for this person how would how would the story have progressed and how effective were they at doing this and how effective were they at like multiple because you know like uh, for the most part if you're talking about the actual canon of the film you have Kaiosama or the uh, the manga you have uh, King Kai actually teaching Goku 
only uh, not that not that other people didn't meet him but um you know the mon- uh, the anime had the filler where he's teaching everyone else yeah and and you know in terms of that it was always weird to me i know they had far less time i mean you talk about like 10 days maybe less yeah um so they weren't necessarily there as long but they were getting uh they actually they actually came up with a way to show that but they didn't say like oh man they got stronger but they didn't get taught how to do the kaioken or the spirit bomb or something like that and you look at roshi and roshi had krillin yamcha and goku and they all learned how to do the kamehameha wave and all this other stuff which was vitally important to the overall scope of the series i mean without that technique goku wouldn't have been able to i guess prevail in a lot of the fights that he did so yeah um he had so that's effective and then for the most part like while I, while Weiss to me was an interesting character uh you know it it Weiss even as cool as he is falls heavily into the nostalgia uh syndrome that super so heavily just kind of puts itself into it where He's a cool person. His training was kind of cool. You know, the whole bed making thing and the carrying the weights and walking as the ground's disappearing behind you. That was interesting. But, you know, a lot of the other stuff that we saw, almost everything else besides those two things were essentially just Master Roshi techniques. You know, like you got to you got to cut the grass. You got to cut the grass. You got to do all this other stuff that kind like of house relates source, back to you know? Yeah, house chores. And I one of the things I really like that is, you know, Part of the joke with Dragon Ball was, you know, you just got to start simple. You got to do just basic chores and it will get you stronger. It's the whole karate kid thing. But going all the way back to that at a huge god level, you know, making Vegeta maybe, you know, what you were saying, like 300, 3 million times stronger than he was initially from the Boo arc. Uh, interesting. I, I feel like that's really interesting. But personally, if you ask me, and I know this is like this is the really off the wall kind of topic uh, or answer for this, but I personally think if you're going to look at anybody who has proven themselves just even really quickly to be the best teacher of the entire series, it has to be Gohan. Um, mm, that's a very interesting because, point of view. I want to hear this. I want to hear this. Uh, because okay, so you look at you look at uh, Roshi. You look at you look at Roshi. Um, he trained Goku and Krillin for months on end, and they got strong enough to go to the tournament before, you know, he trained uh, Krillin and, and Yamcha to go to the tournament. You know, he, I, he's, he has helped them kind of progress, but it took months. It took weeks. It took like a year worth of time, not a year, maybe like eight months from that point to, to actually get ready and actually become as strong as they did. Uh, and imagine and remember exactly where Goku was at that time. Uh, and uh, how much stronger he did become. But then you also have people like, you know, Kaiosama or Kami or Korin or any of these other people who became uh, Goku's teachers at some point, even Whis. And they are definitely going all over the place to train with this person. Simple training tactics or really hard training tactics. And it takes them months and years in order to actually get as strong as they did and learn the stuff they did. And I know this is kind of for time's sake for the manga, but it is canon. You know, that that weird word that no one wants to say anymore is canon. They hate that word, bro. Uh, (laughs) They hate that word, man. But I'm just telling you, like, I personally think that Gohan proved himself because, like like I said, it is canon. He got Videl and Goten to fly in one day. That's true. Like I, I know I know it's weird and we haven't ever seen Gohan put anyone else to the test about being actually a trainer. We saw Piccolo be a trainer, he put Go through Gohan through hell. But Videl as just a simple human being, that's probably a little bit stronger than her father. I don't know necessarily know the numbers, and I'm sure a lot of people can calculate it one way or the other. Maybe like a power level I've heard of like, oh, a power level of 30 or something or 50 or I don't I don't I don't know. But like he he got her to he got her to fly in one day and to at least understand the concept and kind of idea of what key control is uh, in only a couple days. And I feel like that's 
I think that's actually kind of a, a, a major feat in terms of where Videl was and what her beliefs were before actually training with Gohan and actually kind of coming back with as much power and strength that she gained from that that I feel like that in and of itself kind of relates to the fact that she he is a really good teacher. It's that not only being strong, it's also being educated. And if you think about how it was kind of portrayed, you know, before they played baseball, you know, they're sitting there going like, well, I've never played baseball before, but I've, I've read about it. I don't know if that, I'm pretty sure that's a, a real line. I'm not sure if that's just an English dub, mm. but um, it, it goes to show you that he, he book smarts are worth it. And it even goes back all the way to when Roshi forced Goku and Krillin to actually sit down and study for an hour and a day, a day because you need your brain in order to fight. So I feel like that's, one of the things that makes Gohan a really good trainer in all things considered. It's funny because I was actually talking to Gabby, mostly of Opix, about this, that I know the ending of Z, like the original ending of Z, the manga ending, is that Goku was sort of Pan's trainer, right? Mm-hmm. I would kind of wish maybe that idea kind of gets retcon. Like, you don't have to retcon the end of Z, but just kind of retcon the idea that maybe Gohan was the one to train her because there's a scene in Battle of Gods and even in back in the old days in Z that uh, Go- uh, Gohan doesn't really mind his dad training and leaving, you know, like, he doesn't really mind that, and if his daughter came up to him and said, hey, I want to be strong like Grandpa, you know, I'm pretty sure he would train her, he wouldn't say, no, 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 no and he wouldn't pull a Chi-Chi, you know what I mean, I'm pretty sure he'd be completely fine with it, just like how he's fine with his dad leaving for, you know, months and months and months, you know, to go train, so, when you look at Gohan, and this is, I'll, I'll get to the part that I was talking about with Gabby, is that Gohan's history is he was trained by Piccolo. He was trained by a Namekian slash Demon King. He got that sort of method of training in his mindset. He was then training with Krillin, who, if you know, Krillin trained with Kami and Popo and Carlin. So he got that mindset of knowledge, you know, training with somebody who's trained with those people. Then he trained with Goku and Piccolo for three years. And at this time, Goku just came off a yard drat. He just, he had trained with Kaiosama. So, and then the room of spirit and time. It's like, Gohan has trained with about pretty much everybody if with, so, as far as backstory goes and as far as knowledge from the people he's training with. The only person he probably hasn't trained with is the Grand Kai and Whis, and that's it. Everybody else, he's gotten a taste of it. You know what I mean? Like, Goku, I'm sure, brought back some sort of knowledge with them from Kaiosama and him and uh, Piccolo and Gohan trained, you know, in those three years. Similar to that. You know, I can just assume, you know what I mean? So... Mm-hmm. Gohan, to me, would seem like to be the perfect person to uh, teach uh, Pan, not only just because of what you just mentioned, teaching Videl Key Control, if he has, if he can teach Pan for a few years, he can make her, I I don't want to say incredibly strong, but he can just make her an incredibly gifted fighter, because Gohan, not only is he smart, he just has so much knowledge of training with these different people who those people trained with, you know, higher ups, like Godly Beans, like Kami and uh, Kaiosama, you know what I mean? So... I mm-hmm. think it would be good for him to train Pan, and I do agree with you that he is a good teacher, looking at it from that point of view. I'm probably still going to stick with the whole Kyle Sama being the best for now, but I do see your point on Gohan being probably the best teacher, and he could probably still be an amazing teacher moving forward into the arcs. Yeah, I, I completely I completely agree. It's something that I would really like to see. Just, just you know, a lot of people don't want jo- Gohan to just be a, go about, be a scholar. They want to see him fight, but I would be happy if they just kind of put him aside sometimes and it's like, I'm going to cheat, teach y'all. And the way that they've been handling Pan this entire series, it'd be really interesting to see her train under Goku and Gohan and Piccolo and everyone. I mean, uh, that's, that's a video in and of itself. But anyway... <laughs> Do you have any other points? Uh, well, here's a cool theory on Wiss's training. Supposedly, I read this a while back, and you go back and watch uh, episode 15, 16. Uh, there's a cool theory that he used Zenkai's to get them stronger, Goku and Vegeta. The theory comes from, uh, remember like when Beers would wake up and he would sneeze and blow them away? People have the theory mm-hmm. that that happened every day, and that's how they increased their power so quickly, Goku and Vegeta. That they were getting Zenkai's because they would lift weights... They would do the chores, and then Wiss would transport them <laughs> in front of Beerus, and Beerus would like sneeze, and he would like he was utilizing Zenkai's. That's just a cool little theory on Wiss's training. Uh, it's never been actually stated, and it's not concrete evidence. But I thought that's a cool theory for people who might be interested in that, and you know, in Wiss's sort of dynamic training. 
That's that's kind of yeah, that's kind of cool, especially since I wonder how much that actually hurts them cuz you know, Zen Kaiser actually near death experiences yeah. <laughs> or it's like or like mortally wounded type of concepts. Uh, I'm not necessarily sure. Uh, interesting theory though. Interesting theory especially, especially now that the manga kind of refutes that in its own Yeah, that's why I wanted to mention it, because it is an interesting take on his training, you know, that he would utilize the Saiyan's uh, trademark, you know, to get them stronger. Yeah, and it's it's worth mentioning that he probably knows about it, too. I mean, or he could easily figure it out, so. But yeah, that's the only point I have. (laughs) (laughs) Anyway, guys, uh, make sure to tell us in the comment section below exactly who you think is the best teacher in Dragon Ball, you know, for whatever reason, whether it's just something that happens off the spot or who you think may, had the most impact upon Goku, Vegeta, Piccolo, Gohan, anyone who got trained at any point in the entire series. And let us know that in the comment section below. Like I said, MJ's link will be in the description below. Make sure to go check him out. He makes awesome daily Dragon Ball content. Seriously, go check that guy out. He does some really cool stuff. Anyway, MJ, thanks for joining me today. Yeah, man. It was awesome. <laughs> All right, guys. We're going to catch you all next time. Bye. Bye.